Welcome to 101 Tips for Interviewers and Interrogators. I'm your host, Stan Walters, and we're covering tip number six. Tip number six of 101 Tips. You're going to encounter interviews where subjects are going to get angry. It's expected you're going to catch it even with victims and witnesses at time. The key is, as any of you are, don't let yourself get pulled into the anger. <clears throat> Remember, this is not about you in the first place. It's about the subject. The interviewer gets pulled into anger. Several things happen. Number one, angry people don't listen very well. In fact, I like to say they're intellectually deaf, so there's no dialogue going on. Problem number two, people who are angry lose their ability to, for uh, creativity. You as the interviewer, if you get angry, you lose your ability to think outside the box, to think creatively, to overcome the problems. You're, it's like your concentration, your focus collapses uh, in on itself. And you use the ability to work your way out of that. The other problem with anger is an emotion-based response. It's a, re it's a reaction. And reaction is a negative behavior on the part of your subject. The problem is with, with anger also is that the subject will dictate the, the uh, rules of engagement. They'll, they'll dictate um, how the conversation shall go. And so as the interviewer will lose the advantage of directing a monitoring interview and taking it in a positive direction. The other problem with anger is that because it's so emotional, people who are angry or very emotional response get into a point where they, they're convinced their point of view or the position is correct. So the more that you attack, the more that you push the situation, the more entrenched they become in their point of view. So find a way around anger. Don't get in involved. Don't let them drag you in. Uh, don't let them bait you. Understand their point of view and acknowledge what's upsetting them. Say, let's work on it together. How would we deal with this? In fact, you found one of my YouTube videos, extensive one, about 10 minutes long, about ways to deal with an angry subject. So think about what anger does to you and destroys your ability to gain information. Thanks for coming back. Again, be sure that you uh, subscribe to the uh, YouTube channel so you can get more of the 101 tips. Uh, connect with me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and be sure to visit my uh, website, theliguy.com and theliguyblog.com. Find out what's going on in interview and interrogation and some of the innovative techniques and training that we're involved in. Come back again, and we'll talk about tip number seven.